What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I'm going to go over the patch notes for update 1.20. I'm going to link them down in the description in case you would like to read over them in their entirety. I'm going to kind of go over the high points, talk about some of the things that were, you know, some of you might be interested in. I'm not going to go over every single detail. So like I said, if you'd like to read over those patch notes, they are linked down in the description. Just remember, if you own the full version of the game, you will have the regular download for version 1.20. And once you boot the game up, you will also have a data pack to download. If you own just the free version of Warzone, you won't have to worry about uh, downloading the 1.20 version. You won't have to worry about the data pack download as well. Um, just general fixes, or a lot of general fixes. They add a challenge tab to the main multiplayer screen for easier access. They adjusted the audio of the Precision Airstrike. Uh, fixed some bugs for a keyboard, mouse, and game battles. Uh, text will currently appear in white when someone is speaking, regardless of the team. Fix for an exploit on Hackney Yard. Various out-of-bound fixes and exploits on all maps. Uh, they fixed the character uh, issue that Talon was having after the last update. Fixed for some Season 3 emblems appearing in incorrectly. A fix for a bug where players could lose the option to pick their favorite faction. A fix for a bug where white lighting could be seen while moving or firing a weapon near specific locations. They also fixed an issue that was preventing party members from editing their CDL loadouts when in the CDL quick play filter. Also, uh, they fixed an issue that prevented players from zooming in and out on the TAC map. When it comes to weapons, no changes, no nerfs or buffs. They just did some fixes for the SKS. The completionist challenge has been updated so it should work correctly now. Uh, they fixed the bug for unlocking camos with the SKS, and they also fixed a bug where the hardwire skin for Alex would also appear to be uh, in a thermal site even if you had cold blooded on. Now, when it comes to Warzone, the ability to view available XP tokens is not visible in the Warzone menu. This has been fixed. Uh, after being brought back into a match, a player was in a state where they could not interact with a team's loadout drop. They adjusted the speed and sizing of the circle. They added the cargo truck back into solos with reduced turning speed. They fixed a bug where players were unable to equip armor plates while dead silence was active. The gas mask will now remain rare loot and purchasable at the buy station. Also, they added some new coins to plunder. Once you complete a match of a plunder, you will receive bronze, silver, gold, platinum, or more. It says get above 3.5 uh, million to find out the highest rating. Also today, they added Blueprint Gunfight, 3v3 Cranked, and Shoot the Ship 24-7 for uh, multiplayer. And in Warzone, we now have Solos, Trios, Quads, Plunder Trios, and Most Wanted Contracts. And last but not least, guys, there's several special operation changes. I'm not going to go into those, but there were a couple changes just specifically for PC that I will go over quickly. A fix for a bug where players using a Vega 64 GPU could see corrupted outlines around their character model and also a fix for crashes that occurred uh, for players using a GeForce 900 series graphics card when they loaded in the Crosswind Special Operations mission. Nothing too big in this guys, a lot of bug fixes, a lot of general fixes, no gun changes like buffs, nerfs, anything like that. This is a pretty sizable update for just bug fixes. I know a lot of people out there were hoping there might be some other changes brought to the game. Nothing just yet that uh, anything or Nothing yet that Infinity Ward has mentioned in upcoming updates that are looking to change, but of course we'll probably see in the next few weeks uh, some more updates coming out for Modern Warfare. Anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And if you liked it, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out the affiliate GT Racing. Uh, they sell gaming chairs and office chairs, and all their information is down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.